I have a story for you about this somewhat fabled ranch that I uh, wrote this book about. I can tell you a lot about the history of this place. One thing I cannot tell you is why this house has stood in this condition for almost 30 years. There's a whole generation of people that have literally grown up in Frisco. This house hasn't stood since 1987 that have driven by this place and wondered, what the heck is that? And so I wrote the book to answer some of those questions and to provide answers. I thought it was extremely interesting. I mean, just to hear all of that history. You know, I live in Prosper and Frisco's right up the road. So you drive by there all the time and I just, I had no idea. The thing that's interesting about the story and one of the reasons why I wrote this book is because this ranch is still there. And as you all know, Frisco is an exploding place right now. This is what the house looks like today. Any of you drive by this property? It's fascinating. I drove, drove by there many times and uh, love to hear the history of it and how it actually came to be and what their life was like on the ranch. It was great. We come to the next little chapter in the story and that has to do with my father. And he just loved horses and he wanted to buy this property and have horses out there. She said, uh, well, there's some people out here right now doing some filming. I'm like, really? Well, what's that all about? She goes, well, I don't know, but they get here really early in the morning and they stay really late. And uh, they seem real dead set serious on what they're doing. And I said, so what is, uh, what is the show all about? And she says, well, it's a, I think I overheard Chloe saying it's, uh, it's about a family that lives on a ranch. And I said, that's funny. Uh, that's gonna be terrible. I remember watching it when I was growing up. So it's just great to hear the story from someone who lived there and can uh, enlighten us on what happened and you know how it all is. So very pleased with the story and I'm gonna get the book and read it and see, you know, the whole all the details. What does a new wife have to do to a house that another woman has lived in and raised four rowdy boys? Burn, burn it down. Dee says burn it down. But I heard redecorate, that's a better answer. Redecorate, exactly, sure. And so it was really just a, uh, an accident uh, that set the uh, house on fire in uh, 1987. I moved here to Texas in 1980 when the show was booming and blowing and everything. And it's just to learn more of the history of Frisco and the history of South Fork and this gentleman and his family was just was beyond comprehension of how cool it is and the sad things that happened to his family on the bankruptcy part, but the awesome part about his father being a Detroit Lion in a, in a, soup, a, a championship and going on to be a successful businessman and the true epitome of what a Texas businessman is was really, really fascinating to learn more about that. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. 